Hey guys, I am back with answers to your questions, which I did not get many questions at all, which is fine. Don't mind. Alright, let me just get started. Alright, from Miss Chaco. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Miss Chaco Lit Star. <laughs> I like the way she spells it. Anyway, do you ever twist your hair? I decided to the other day. Um, um, this is the first time I ever did many, many, many twists. I was bored watching African movies and I just started twisting it. But uh, again, my hair is really thin. So when I wear it out, it looks like a mop that's probably like from the 80s. Lost all its little, you know. Anyway, um, next question is from Quiet Genius. He says, how old are you, Miss Dot? Hmm. <sighs> a lady isn't supposed to tell her age, but I'll just tell you. I'm 28 years old. Soon to be 29. Anyway, I um, also wanted to thank Mr. Quiet Genius for saying that I cheered him up the other day um, when he got stood up. It was really sweet of you to say that. Alright, next one is from D Wes 76. Gosh, why are you so beautiful? Gosh, why are you so sweet? <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank you very much for that compliment. That's more of a compliment than a question anyway. But thank you. Um, next is Shanae9988. What's my hair reg regimen? Um my regimen I I'm lazy. I don't wash my hair often because I just don't like to. It's too much trouble. My 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 hair is just it's just really kinky. So, it's hard for me to wash it. But I wash it like every week and um I only put uh I only put this. This is it's hard for you to see, guys, cuz coconut oil and um, I use leave-in suave, suave conditioner, and sometimes I'll twist it, twist it up with like some Shea Cantu Shea hair moisture lotion, and that's it. Um, next is Miss Double O Juicy. That's my girl. Did I lose weight? I think I did. I really do. If if you look back on my old videos, you probably notice it too. I, my um, scale is broken, so I can't even really give you an accurate thing, but I'll show you, because I said I would. I don't know what I look like right now, so this might be embarrassing. I have rolls still, but let me stand on that. <laughs> See? See my panty line? I did lose weight. Definitely. Not in a good way though. I just don't eat as much anymore. Um next. Miss Cherry Drop. It's not Miss Cherry Drop, it's just Cherry Drop. How long have you been natural? I've been natural February twenty first or twenty second will make it two years. So a year and ten months. Um, and then Google me 2318. I hope this is not that long. Google me 2318. Uh, I like this. What was high school like for you? Hmm. This entire, me even going, to, going into this might take forever. So I'm going to try to like speed it up. High school. I started high school. I went to public school straight out of being in Catholic school for all my life. So when I went to public school, I used to wear high waters. I didn't have cool clothing or sneakers or anything like that. I used to wear like um, pay less shoes and people used to make fun of me, patent leather shoes, um, pants that had flowers on them, like gacho, gacho pants, whatever you call those. And people just used to make fun of me. but I, I didn't really, I didn't get it. 
Like, for instance, there was one time I had on an outfit, and these girls were like, Oh my god, your outfit is so cute. Where'd you get it? And I was so excited, and I told them. And as soon as I walked away, they all started laughing. So that's when I knew I couldn't dress. But whatever. Um, funny thing is, girls didn't really like me. But all the guys did. Like, they were just cool with me. They thought I was cool. Um... Um, one special thing about me in high school, which is crazy, is that every year in high school, I got in a fight. Every single year. The first fight, um, well, clearly, I was in Catholic school all my life. I never fought. So the first fight, I kind of initiated it because I tried to act hard. This girl tried to embarrass me in front of a lot of people, so I went in front of her and I basically punked her and she started crying and she ran like she really ran and everybody was like oh oh like you know giving me pound and like lifting me up in the air saying that I was gangster and I, I got a little hype and then I went to class and she had called her cousin and her cousin came and basically started cursing me out and I got up and I started cursing back at her Next thing you know, <clears throat> mind you, my teacher, he was like in his 80s and he was kind of crippled. So he couldn't stop the fight and I didn't know what to do. So I'm trying to like grab books so I could hit her across her head. But she had me by my hair and had me all over the place. Um, security came, got her off of me, separated us. She's on the other side of the door and I kind of just like slide under his legs trying to fight her because... She had beat me up and I was embarrassed. Um, second fight was in a different high school with my best friend from childhood who started acting like she was gangsta all of a sudden. Like we went to Catholic school and we were quiet and all of a sudden she she, she just started acting different because she got to public school and then we fought. Um, the third fight, dang. Oh my gosh, the third fight was really bad. I got jumped, yo, by two big, big girls. Like, they were huge. And the girl beat me up, right? And she had an asthma attack. It was bad. Um, And the only person that was in the room with me was my pregnant friend. And she was, like, nine months pregnant, so she couldn't do nothing. And I was getting stomped out by two big girls. Um, But that was okay, because it was unfair anyway. And... The final fight was my best friend, the one that I was telling you guys about in the last video. Um, she fought me because she told me she was jealous that I started hanging out with somebody else. And she just attacked me and she was like slamming my head on the floor trying to kill me out of jealousy. But eventually, years later, she admitted to me why she did it and I thought that was kind of dumb, but whatever. Okay, so basically, high school... Not so good. As far as grades, not so good. I was a straight F student. I almost didn't graduate. Dang, this question really got me. I'm sorry, man. It's already eight minutes. All right, I almost didn't graduate. Since I started high school, I just was a bad student. For whatever reason, I don't know. Actually, when I was in Catholic school, the only good grades I got was on art. When I did art. I think I had like some kind of learning disability or whatever, honestly, but um, my parents never did anything about it. It is what it is. I'm not dumb. I just learned differently. But basically, high school was not the best for me. I got stood up at prom by somebody that asked me to the prom. He came straight from Haiti. Nobody liked him. And he asked me to the prom like two or three years prior to prom. And then three years later, he became gangsta, thugged out, and popular. And he basically played me. You know? That's a whole nother story. If you guys want to know about my prom story, oof. Boy, was that emotional. I have two prom stories. Because the first one I got stood up, my cousin invited me to hers the next week. And something happened. And we were... But if y'all want to know, you ask me and I'll tell you. It's just way too long. Um... Yeah, and I almost did not graduate. Um, my teachers were really good to me because they knew that I was smart, but I just learned differently. 
I apply myself differently than others. So at least three of my teachers gave me the option to write papers. And if I hand in the paper, oh, dang, this is like really lagging bad. Um, yeah, they gave me the option to write papers, which I did. And um, basically, I was able to walk. I graduated. But I was like a straight FDC student. I think I got one A in art. Um, all right. Thank you, Google Me 2318. That was a good question. Made my mouth dry, but that was good. <laughs> Mega MG76. What do you want to do when you grow up? Well, I want to do so many things. First, I wanted to be a nurse. Then I wanted to be an artist. Then, did I ever want to be an actress? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Um, damn, my biggest thing was being a nurse. Oh, but being a lawyer? Oh, that was my first love. But my mother said, all lawyers are liars. And she did not want me to be a lawyer. This is really bothering me that this is lagging, but that's life. Camera quality sucks. Um, I wanted to be a social worker. I wanted to. I just, I wanted to be so many things, but you know what? I really think I can. So right now, I'm doing the television production thing. Um, once I get that done, I'll probably try to take like a paralegal course or something in nursing I'll try to do that once I get everything together and I start making money but yeah I'm not going to give up my nursing goal because I love to take care of people oh gosh sorry guys about my mouth um all right Mr. York and why okay you missed me that was really sweet I miss you too um do I have a boyfriend? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Um, that's a whole nother story. It's very, very complicated. Very complicated. Do I see him? No. Not really. I do, but not really. Is it a regular relationship? No. Basically, I'm... I do, but it's hard, and I don't get to see him and stuff like that, um, or talk to him. It's really bad, dang. Anyway, we'll talk about that in another video, if you want me to. Um, all right, Marcus46, uh, I want to thank you for welcoming me back to YouTube. I appreciate that. Um, how old am I? I answered that already. Don't want to answer it again. What state do I live in? CT. Um, how many years left for me to become a television broadcaster? I don't want to be a television broadcaster, no. I want to work behind the scenes. If anything, if I could do acting or whatever, I wouldn't go for it. But if somebody just randomly asked me to do it, I'd do it. Just, to, just for an experience. But my sister is the one that wants to be a television broadcaster and... It would be really awesome because if she does that, then basically I'll be behind the scenes and I could like hook my sister up with jobs. That would be awesome. Um, and as far as how many years I have left, I have like uh, two more semesters left for this television course before I get a certificate. But I don't know what that's going to do for me. I'll, I'll let you guys know though. Um... Okay, and you also want to know, how does one befriend me on a genuine level? Oh, okay. Well, damn. This is long. Sorry, guys. Um, how to befriend me. Dang. Um, I have bad luck with friends. Very, very, it's like I'm cursed. I kid you not. Like, I will do anything for my friends, for my man, whoever I love, but it just never works out. Like, I always get hurt, backstabbed, for whatever reason, I don't know. Like, I will give anything, my all. My all. It just doesn't work. Um, 
but how to befriend me just be real um i love when people are honest i'm not always honest i've done a lot of bad things in my past maybe that's what's coming back to me but you know what goes around comes around you know that but i'm not that bad though like i'm talking about bad things i used to do back when i was in high school it shouldn't be taking a toll now but it is um um, how to befriend me, just loyalty, um, kindness, I need somebody to be supportive, um, if I talk to you about something and I ask you to keep it to yourself, I want you to keep it to yourself, like, I just can't find that, I have one friend that she, she embodies all that, she's awesome, but we hardly even hang out, she's awesome. Shout out to you if you're watching, Mo. You're the bomb. Um, I want to make friends with some of you guys on YouTube. Um, Testitol. Testitol. However you say your name. Um, you're cool. I'd love to be your friend. Um, like, you guys. You're all awesome. Like, if you guys want to be my friend, we could try to make it work. You know, just come at me. And then we'll see. Um, um, we could be friends. But if you cross me, that's when I just... I shut down. I just have a hard time um, allowing people into my life now. Only because of what I've been through and whatnot. So... It's hard to befriend me or I don't know. Just try and we'll see. <laughs> That's if you want to be my friend, Marcus. You're always um, commenting, so I'd love to be your friend too. Um, all right. Leon ate chicken. I love chicken. Uh, you asked 10 years off and on from school, how much money have you spent on college? With a, like, frustrated face. I know. Yes, I've spent all that time. Now, honestly, it wasn't 10 years straight or nothing. It was off and on. Like, I'd start, and I was getting straight Fs in, in college, and I was just like, yo, I can't do that. Like, the first semester, I did good. I had, like, all Bs, and then after, it was just straight Fs. And then I'd try again, and it'd be straight Ds and Fs. And I decided I needed to take a break. And then I went to school for medical assisting and um, nurse, nurse's aid, all that kind of stuff. And then I just kept working. And I became a pharmacy technician. So I was working in New York as a medical assistant and then in Connecticut as a pharmacy tech. And then I was just working my butt off. And then I decided to go back to school. Went back to school. It didn't work out. It just didn't. I took a break, went back to work. So most of my college years, I was working. Didn't ever save no money, but I was working. As far as how much money I spent on school, not much, because I was hardly there. You know, a couple of thousand, give or take, 10, I don't know. And a school for medical assisting, boy, Father God, I don't know why or what led me to, to agree to pay for this but the school was like twenty thousand dollars for medical assisting which they cut it in half so i owe them ten thousand dollars i think i already paid them like seven but i feel like what's the point that that's bull crap you could take medical assisting for five hundred dollars dang 19 minutes oh shit i'm sorry y'all um and last but not least it's f-u-c-k-i-n-g nick <laughs> i miss you girl I miss you. I miss you. Um, you wish that we lived near each other? I wish that we lived near each other, too. If if we did, I'd definitely be your friend. We'd be besties, girl. We really would. I'm sorry that I took up all this freaking time. 20 minutes of your time. Damn, if you guys actually stayed up to watch me. Congratulations. Congra Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you guys really stayed to watch this, I appreciate it. Because I don't know if I would. Oh, 
man actually i would because if i really like somebody on youtube i could sit there and watch them like oh my gosh uh a chic quiche quiche listen i watch you can make a video for an hour and i'd sit there and watch it um 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 natural brown beauty i will sit there and, oh god dang, i love you guys Sandy Cheeks. If you made longer videos, I'd be watching them too. African Export. I love all of you guys. I, so, I hope you guys watch my video. And my sister. I miss you. KCC. Kinky Curly Coil. Love you. Um, yeah. That's about it. I'm sorry that I took up all this time. I really am. And thank you if you really watched. You guys are the bomb. And if you have better questions, come on, ask me. All right? This was boring. Except for the high school question. I like that one. Peace. <laughs> Bye.